Hey folks, today is May the 15th. It's currently uh, just about 7 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to go ahead and do our Titan G7 week number 8 update review. And I know this was a losing week, so we will take a look in the Telegram chat as well as the Facebook group to see what other members are reporting. And we'll also take a look at my uh, VPS to see exactly how bad the damage was this week. All right. Here we are here. So as you can see right here, our current balance is $683.81. We have a floating loss of $7.22. At one point, our profit was up to uh, the $280 mark, but it's currently at $183.81. So we've definitely given uh, some of our profit back here, which is to be expected. Nothing is going to go straight up. We're going to have pullbacks. And then new highs, pullbacks, new highs. This is just a much bigger pullback for the past, I believe, two weeks here. We've uh, taken two weeks of losses. But in comparison to, obviously, the uh, months of profit that a lot of people have had, we're still up very nicely. And actually, let's go ahead and jump into the VPS here. Give me one second, and we'll take a look and see. All right, we're now in the VPS, and as you guys can see here, definitely have several trades open going into the weekend, and there is that $7.22 right there. All right, let's go to account history. And the first day of the week was the 11th, I believe. Yep. And we can scroll up just to... Actually, no, we don't need to scroll up. We can scroll down. Doesn't look like we took as many trades as we uh, typically take here. You can see here 511, 512, 513, 14. Yeah, we definitely did not take a lot of trades this week in comparison to what we uh, usually take. As you can see, we had a nice $10 win right here. $6, $3. We just had uh, too many of these larger size losses. $6 here, 6 6 a $9 loss there, a $3 loss there, and a $7 loss there. So this week, things just didn't uh, swing our way. Let's pull this back down some. Hopefully next week, these uh, trades we have open will close uh, in profit. We'll just have to wait and see on it. And hopefully next week also, we'll uh, get back into the habit of having winning weeks. This is uh, two weeks now that we've had losing weeks, and... I definitely don't want this to become a habit. We are up nicely in profit right now. We started with a $500 SIM account and it's currently at 683. So hopefully we won't give back uh, too much of that profit that we've made. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, Telegram group. Give me one second. All right, let's pull this up here. All right, so this is what they had to say. Obviously, a few members have uh, spoken out about the past couple weeks. All right, we're aware that many of you who are using G7 have been experiencing some consistent losses over the past two weeks in a row, which can be discouraging, especially if you've just recently joined us. Please understand, we've discussed the recent res results with our development team, and there's absolutely nothing unusual or unexpected happening with G7's performance right now. In fact, since we released G7 less than two months ago, we have many members whose accounts are up 10%, 20%, and even 30%. This is true, even despite any recent losses. So it's very important to keep at least a monthly perspective in order to give G7 enough time to work in your favor. All right, so basically what they're saying there, if you just got started this week or last week, make sure you uh, let it run for another few weeks before you kind of give up on it. All right, we cannot overemphasize the importance of having proper expectations when using our software. If you haven't, watch the expectations video. All right, definitely recommend watching that. All right, it is important to understand that there will be losing days, losing weeks, and occasionally losing months. According to the back test results, losing months occur about 13% of the time. It's a natural part of the trading process. All right, the bottom line is that these losing streaks or periods of stagnation do not last forever. During times like these, it is most helpful to study the back test results in order to keep your emotions under control and have proper expectations. So if you guys are in the course, definitely recommend checking out those back testing results. Obviously, they are uh, extremely good. 
So that'll give you guys some confidence when uh, going through these down periods here. That being said, many of you have made the observation that Titan G7 will be floating profits, but sometimes it doesn't reach its take profit target. And as a result, price can result reverse and end up hitting the stop loss. So far, we found that manually closing out the trades early randomly before they hit their take profit target does not necessarily improve results. We've also tested using a trailing stop on the original Titan and found that it also does not improve results. All right. Looks like we're getting to something good here. However, we recently started testing a trailing stop function with the Titan G7, and we're finding that so far in our testing, it does improve results significantly. Okay, so it sounds like there might be an update coming. Uh, let's come down here to the meat of it. All right, we're planning on releasing a special Titan G7 version update this weekend featuring an optional trailing stop loss function. All right, very good news. All right, I might look at uh, jumping on that and, uh, and and trying it out. Obviously, we've been using the uh, settings that they had previously, but it might do us good to try out the trailing as well. We'll release more information about the trailing stop update this weekend, including the back test results. All right. So in the next video, I'll try to show the back testing results for the uh, trailing stop when they post them here as well. All right, let's see if there's anything worth mentioning here. Basically, the way it works is on the trades that are floating profit, the trailing stop loss is activated and set to break even once price reaches a certain percent of its distance to the take profit target. That point, it will begin to automatically move the original stop loss with the price if price keeps moving in the trade's favor. Okay, so basically, it'll act like a uh, typical trailing stop. All right, let's go ahead and jump over here and see how much news we had this week. I know we had... A bit here today's obviously May the 15th and we'll see apply settings I don't think we had a whole lot of news to contend with this week all right so it looks like on Tuesday 8 30 a.m. 10 p.m. NZD news prelim GDP for GBP all right, employment change, unemployment rate for AUD, Australian dollar. All right, so not a lot that would uh, hinder us. So this was just one of those weeks. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the Facebook group here. And let me go ahead and refresh it so that we can uh, make sure we got the most uh, recent activity. All right, new activity, recent posts. That's what I'm looking for. All right, another week in the books, and I did it. I didn't look at my account all week. I just let it run. So most of the week's losses were actually from trades opened last week. This week's trades are only down 1%, including the open trades. Maybe we are turning a corner here long term. All right, has anyone used VLOAD? No, that's nothing. All right, gosh, I was finding myself so frustrated with G7 these past uh, couple weeks. Being in the losing period or stagnation period really sucks. I can especially feel for folks who just got started, definitely so. I was actually pleasantly surprised after looking at a few of these accounts that we've been running the longest since G7 started testing forward. Uh, it's not so bad when you zoom out a bit and view it from a month-to-month -month basis. It's actually kind of good. All right, anyway, wanted to let you know we are constantly... Dumping tons of money, time, and energy to continuously make our products better. All right. All right. So overall, what is this? March. It's up 41%. Another account since March is up 23%. All right. So basically over the long run, it's uh, still in profit significantly. All right, new announcement made me happy. Continued improvements. All right. Quick question. All right, no, that's not what we're looking for. Let's see if we can find some MyFX book updates here. When there are, are uh, bad weeks, I don't tend to see as many updates. Scroll down a little bit more. All right, finally have my first real losing week. This is uh from last week, actually. I'm sure this individual is not in, uh actual, so this is admin. All right, so now that we've had two weeks, I wonder if he'll post in here. Joseph Hicken. Let me see if he was one of the ones that posted already. All 
All right, doesn't look like it. I was hoping we would have had some more people uh, post their results here for this week, but like I said, when it comes to losing weeks, people don't tend to post as much here. All right, let's see what these people are saying. Patience is key. Struggle with patience. Been with G7 since it came out. Branded with a demo 1K and it managed to grow 600. I went live with 1K two weeks ago and been crossing my fingers. This doesn't last. Okay, so this individual just went live once we started having losing weeks. So he's definitely uh, going through a tough period right now, I'm sure. Started two and a half weeks ago with 3K. I'm down 400 so far. Tried to post my experience on the page. They erased my post. Hashtag plus that's real facts, guys. So think, so think too. I'm not sure what that's about. So think too. I don't know. So another uh, person posting a losing week. All right. So definitely, you can see what happened to the amazing pro version that was coming out in a couple weeks, about a month ago. It looks like it would be a good time for something special. It's in the works, looking amazing, but we need to take as much time as necessary before releasing it. All right, definitely so. All right, so they're just talking about updates here. Yep, looks like these are just update conversations i try to wait until the afternoon so that we can hopefully get uh the most feedback from people here's one i'm down 25 percent over the last two all right so that's the uh previous individual all right so it looks like that's going to be it as far as updates like i said earlier hopefully next week we'll uh have a winning week so that way we can see some more of the individuals that are actually uh, in the group get some more of their feedback on how things are going overall all right, so I think that's going to be it. If you guys want more information on the Titan G7, you guys can click the link below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send them my way. And the next weekly update review is going to be on May the 22nd here. All right, guys, don't give up hope. It looks like uh, we're going through a rough patch with it, but hopefully uh, things will turn out the way they did in their back testing results. And over the next few weeks, things will turn around and we'll get back into some uh, extreme profitability and we'll just, you know, go from there. All right, folks, see you on the next update, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Take care, folks.